from Victor Kurtnox um, from the Event Tech in that beer. My name is Viktor Kortenek. I would like to represent you, Vintage Company, State Report of Current Developments for the Cycling Precision Time Tagging System. Time to time, in the range of this workshop and earlier, we heard, some, heard something like Riga Event Timer A033. Ah, okay. Should I repeat? Okay. <laughs> time to time, uh, in the range of this one workshop, uh, earlier you heard something like Riga Event Timer A033. Uh, what is the guy? This? It's an, our child, uh, child of our development uh, team. But uh, most what you need to know about it is that it's a event timer with a single shot LMS resolution of 2.5 picoseconds and repetition rate higher than 10k. And does this guy is good or bad? Uh, this is a LS network map with a red cyclist market solicitation equipped with a advantage event timers. So, five from ten. Not bad. <laughs> I hope. Uh, go ahead. During the last ten years, we kindly request our customers to provide us with the AO Slisli event timer updates wish list. And all what we heard don't touch nothing. Ten from ten. So, it's not no bad, it's an excellent from our point of view. Uh, but we cannot do not do nothing, and during the last 10 years, we did something very interesting. Uh, we uh, developed the onboard implementation of Event Timer on space qualified components. Uh, according to ESA contract. Mostly this, this device has mostly the same parameters, but uh, with a little worse uh, single shot LMS resolution of 5 picosecond. But uh, with this device, if somebody of you will decide to install SLS station in the moon, we are ready to assist you. So. On the base of uh, MPET system, uh, time interval meter for planetary altimeter to be used on ESA planetary mission HERA, developed by Avantage, which is a parameter uh, which you can see on the screen. Very, very silent. In the last one year, we heard something like, please increase repetition rate. Not from SLR stations customers, but from customers who use uh, our timer for time transfer, in time transfer projects. And as a result, new version uh, of Event Timer A034, with almost same parameters as previous version, but with a repetition rate 20 megahertz, so just, it means that you can continue register all events in 20 megahertz repetition rates. Uh, passes its first test, so it's really when I went here, we start to make first test with this device. Uh, to say that it is an um, update 
of previous version. No, it's incorrect. It's an absolutely new device, built it on absolutely new modern components. So, and we're going to suggest it as a replacement of event timer AO333 to our customers in quarter three of uh, next year. Uh, in parallel, in the range of uh, European Regional Development Fund, we applied for multi-channel picosecond precise time tagging system with amplitude measurement for satellite laser ranging. Uh, with the following parameters, the number of channels, five or more, that time 30 nanoseconds, so it means that repetition rate, the maximum repetition rate will be not 20 megahertz, but uh, even 30 megahertz. Uh, single shot, it's predicted, we hope that we will reach it. Uh, single shot LMS resolution, one picosecond. Uh, one big additional uh, built-in amplifier. I think you will hear today in some presentations why it's need to have a built-in amplitude meter. And uh, one big additional, what we are going to implement, is a built-in range gate generator with a resolution of 10 picoseconds. Mm. So, first prototype awaited in quarter four of next year. Mm. Combining the work on demand to increase repetition rate and uh, built-in range generator, gate generator, in the range of one ESA project, we start to develop uh, PPM real-time transceiver for optical communication. Uh, main parameters, message bit, if you know what is the PPM, if not, uh, in a social dinner, you can ask me, I will explain you. Uh, message bit repetition rate should be higher than 20 megahertz, and transmitter resolution should be about 10 picosecond. Yes, but it's all we will de derive from the previous requirements. First prototype uh, we are going to have on hands in quarter four of next year. Conclusion, we have a timing measurement and time generating devices in Earth. We have the same type devices in space. We suggest the devices for you. And we are looking for a lady to cooperate with those who are interested to use our terrestrial event timers, to use our event timers technologies in space qualified tasks, to use our technologies uh, and knowledges in joint scientific projects, to embed our technologies to their systems. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Victor. Um, any questions? Thank you for that. Um, one of your devices, you mentioned that they will have or have amplitude measurement. I'm curious about what amplitude of what signal is that? Uh, if you will get the signal from the uh, PMT detector, but I think today you will have uh, regarding this problem from the presentation of uh, Riga SLS station from the Calvis, yes? He has more information you will get from him but it's highly required and it will allow you to improve the LMS error to the several millimeters in the ranging. Any questions? Else? What's the difficulty in terms of going to femtosecond? 
Resolution. Hmm. You know, it's uh, okay. First of all, uh, as you know, the digital is a um, superposition of the digital. The digital sum is a superposition of uh, digital of, eleme of every element in the schematic. Yeah, we have a several schematic with a digital uh, declarated of uh, about hundred femtoseconds. Yes, yeah? so and in a chains of components, there are about 10 components in the chain until the measurement end. And uh, from our point of view, the maximum with this one technology, our resolution, what we can reach is about uh, 500 femtoseconds, and that's it. It's, uh, it's on our mind, maybe we are long, but with this one technology. So, in terms of stability, um, can you provide like one or two picoseconds over an hour or so? Mm, sorry, again? In terms of uh, stability, yes. can you provide one or two picoseconds over, over we an hope. hour? Just uh, very soon, because as I said, we already start the test of new device. Very soon, we will public all our test results. Probably, we will reach the picosecond already right now. Okay, thank you, Victor. Thank you for your talk. Thank you very much. Sorry, Matt. I have a kind of one question. Oh, okay. Uh, I think uh, Laser Engine Community is one of your best uh, customers. Yes. And uh, your ET is not too expensive, but also not too cheap. And, <laughs> <laughs> and also, we know you are developing some new devices. And is it possible at some, at some point that you get a uh, request from, from our stations that they can borrow uh, that they, they can borrow some uh, devices from your company and then make some experiments? Uh, just for experiments, we provide our devices free of charge. Absolutely. Just maybe you will pay only for shipping. But it's better to communicate with our uh, sales department, with uh, Pavel Razmaev, yes? If you know him. I hope initially you communicate with him. He will answer to the all non-technical question. I am a technician. Okay, thank you very much. Sure. Let's remember this offer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great, thank you, thank you. Thank you.